السلام عليكم brothers and sisters respected elders رحمة الله وبركاته may Allah accept your deeds and amal praying and fasting in this great month of شهر رمضان أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وجعلني مباركا أينما كنت وأوصاني بالصلاة والزكاة ما دمت حيا And he made me a blessed wherever I am and enjoined me to maintain prayer and zakat as, so, as, as long as I am alive. This verse actually in the Quran in this verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, talks about Isa salamullahi ta'ala alayh uh, and Isa is one of the prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them blessed as we say in Arabic nafa' according to riwayat al-sadiq salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi blessed yani mubarak means nafa' means like very beneficial to his people and this is one of the main attributes to the real believer to be Mubarak, to be a blessed, to be useful and beneficial to other people. That's why we have another verse, I think in Surah An Nisa. Yes, the verse number 114. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse he said لا خير في كثير من نجواهم there is no good in much of the in, in, in many people in their secret talks إلا accepted those who إلا من أمر بصدقة enjoins charity or what is right for reconciliation between people and whoever does that seeking their, their reward from Allah or seeking Allah pleasure we will give him a great reward and he didn't say this reward in this dunya or in the hereafter but in real life we see whenever the believer of our assistance of our something good to people whenever the believer the mu'min be beneficial to people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make his life easy also and make him happy this life and also he will grant him and give him happiness and great uh, reward in reward in the hereafter so let's just start with some a hadith of Ahlul Bayt salamullah ta'ala alayhim about the meaning of Mubarak because Isa alayhi salam said Ja'alani Mubarak and he made me blessed and also how can the mu'min be Mubarak we said Nafa right but uh, we said would be beneficial but what was the way he can be beneficial to people and what are the some actions he can do so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him tawfiq and success to be beneficial to people we have hadith Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam said 
وجعلني مباركا أينما كنت means نفاعا نفاعا like is very beneficial to people this is one of the hadith it shows the meaning of uh, مباركا we have verse in the Quran it shows what's actions the people should do so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them barakah like sent when they do it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send down will bestow favors and blessings from the heaven to those people in one of the verses in the Quran says أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولو أن أهل القرى if the people of towns آمنوا واتقوا had been faithful and God wary لفتحنا عليهم بركات من السماء we would have opened them blessings from the heaven والأرض and the earth ولكن كذبوا but they denied فأخذناهم بما كانوا يكسبون so we seized them because of what they used to do or because of what they used to earn so you might you might just ask so many people who are kafir who are disbelievers and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them uh, sustenance give them gives them like provision and they are happy in their life actually first of all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give opportunity to people to think about their situation Allah yumhil wa la yuhmil Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not ignore people he gives them opportunity to repent he gives them opportunity maybe they you know they change their situation and be good people and good believer Second thing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in another uh, verse of Quran, Surah Al-Isra, said, كُلَّنْ نُمِدُّ هَاُلَى وَهَاُلَى مِنْ عَطَاءِ رَبِّكِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the mu'min and the kafir from his sustenance and rizq to give them, as I said, give them opportunity to think about their belief. And what you see maybe to some people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them maybe good weather give them like alhamdulillah like you know many uh, they give them success in many fields that's because you know they uh, used what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them like they use their brain they use, they strive to reach this situation of ilm this position of ilm and you know technology or so but if they are disbeliever and they insist, you know, to stay like this, to stay mushrik, to stay agnostic, at some point, of course, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish them just like what he did where to other like nations in the past. Because Al Quran Karim told us about some nation who who used to be even more developed than us. Amaruha akthar mimma amaruha. So they did even better than what we did here, but you know, because they were like mushrik, they disbelievers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed them. Dammarna ma kana ya'malu fir'aun. And one of them was Pharaoh, because uh, to this moment, you know, the people, they don't know how the pyramids were built. I'm not saying the pyramid may, may be, pyramids is, uh, are the most developed uh, you know, building ever in the history, but I'm just as as, as example. Now, till this moment, I mean, we don't know the technology they used to build the pyramid. Uh, we have another hadith. It shows Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you know, gives barakah in uh, some for some characteristics the mu'min 
can have. One of those characteristics to be fair. We have hadith that says, Amir Rumi Asam said, Al Bil Adli Tatawaful Barakat. Blessings are multiplied by the justice with the justice. And maybe this is one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give blessings to people in some you know countries who are non-Muslim but they have kind of yeah, I mean some level of justice right all people the same all people they you know treated the same all people they have like the same opportunities you know in going to for example universities and to take part in this in this life to you know build a business or so so all the same not like other Muslim maybe countries you can you don't have such opportunity so this justice also because of this justice Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies the barakat the blessings for people said so Imam Ali Aysam said Bil Adli blessings are multiplied with justice with being fair this is one of the things yeah, and Amir Asam also said that said the opposite. He said, "Ida vaharat al jinayat when when the a crime prevail, a blessing blessings are lifted away. Rufiat or tafat al al barakat. Ida kathurat al jinayat, or tafat what al barakat." Also, we have a hadith. Of Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam For example we have hadith uh, That Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said Inna al-barakata fi tijara You know we have uh, Everybody has Or most of people They have like job to live You know So some jobs Are better than others Some jobs Are much more blessed than others. The Prophet ﷺ recommended us to have a specific type of job and everybody knows what it is but he said this job or this type of work is much more blessed than other types. What is it? He said al barakatu inna indeed the blessing the blessings are in trading and transactions. So just think about it. If somebody, for example, work from 8 to 5, and this is actually our regular, you know, hours we, we work in this country and many other countries, some countries, for, for example, maybe from 8 to 3, but most of the people like work, you know, from the morning until the evening, and, yeah, they have jobs with, you know, either government, with companies or so, this type of work actually is, is not like the type of work which is like blessed. The more blessed work is to السلام, work in tijara and trading. What's the reason? Allahu A'lam. But maybe one of the reasons, like if you are successful in tijara and trading and you have like good business and blessed business, you will have like more flexible schedule. But if you work for a company, you don't have, you know, flexible time for your family, for yourself, for, you know, because you, you need time for yourself to learn your ahkam, for example. Imam al-Sadiq said, Uffin li'abdin lam yunfiq jumu'atahu min usbu'ihi lita'allum ahkam dinah. Uffin, the words, the man says it when you know he doesn't like something or often just like when, when somebody like you know doesn't like something said often that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Wala taqul lahuma often. don't say off to your father or to your father or mother your parents because it's not good to say there's something you know shows that you don't like uh, a thing so uh, Imam Salaam said often li'abdin to often to some to, what, to a believer who doesn't spend the Friday among of, of his, his among the days of the week to gain knowledge to learn about his ahkam Islamic rules so let's ask this question so we work 
from most of us are more yeah, working from Monday through Friday. So Friday is a work day. What do you think? We can be free for Salat al-Jumu'ah. We can be free to learn our ahkam. It is, it is difficult, you know, to do so. That's why if you have, for example, your own business and you have your own maybe two or three employees, you can go and you offer Salat al-Jumu'ah and then you do Ghusl al-Jumu'ah and then you, you know, wear, you wear like maybe white clothes and clean clothes and and then you learn some ahkam shari'i and be with your family maybe maybe in the evening you go maybe after asr you go for a picnic or so so you have many things to do but if you work for somebody it is very difficult to save such time for your, yourself and your family that's why trading rasulullah said i'm sorry i'm not it's not like right to say that's why no maybe it is one of the reasons that you know the trading is much better or your own business is much better and also I think uh, if somebody has a job let's him have uh, let's him have maybe uh, a side hustle a side business this very good idea so with time maybe his, this business is gonna be maybe primary business and then he quits working for people I know a guy yeah he's from Egypt he's engineer is, is I think he's civil engineer so he worked for a year maybe 10 years or more but at the same time he worked as like you know flipping in, in flipping home and so and after a, few, a, a period of time you know uh, he had been a millionaire I, I, I met him personally I know other guy uh, he used to work for the governor secretary for a governor and his his salary was very good you know maybe he was in uh, in 90s yeah he told me that he used to take like 90k and he worked there for 12 years after 12 years he said i got extremely bored i cannot any more stand to work from eight to five no more then he just like wrote his resignation when the you know the his manager so he said so his resignation he received his he said can i like increase your salary to stay with us because you know you are a very good employee and we like you and then so they made like they made his salary 120k he said no no more working here i i, I cannot stand working here anymore then he quit you know what he did he he told me that and he stayed he's still there and he has an islamic center also so he told me that i went to uh, study about like real real estate to get the certificate for realtor so he you know study for or like took training maybe for uh, two weeks and then he passed the test so he has been like realtors real realtor in like real estate agent since maybe uh, 2000 or something like that and mashallah now I mean he is a millionaire also he had like in the COVID-19 he has 54 home mashallah so any home in the auction he took it he takes it any home in the auction in the city <laughs> so he takes it you know this is very good thing you know because first of all he, he he founded a center Islamic center second thing he had like alhamdulillah home in very nice place and he uh, pay money for his kids to go to universities and he's happy has time any uh, he can go to the masjid anytime, go travel anytime, go to ziyara anytime, go to hajj. And it, see, so uh, the Prophet Sallallahu said, al inna al barakata fi tijara. So one of the things Ahl al Bayt guided us to, you know, to gain blessings from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to have a blessed business is to do tijara trading. On the other hand, the Prophet Sallallahu uh, taught us or he is teaching us in the other hadith about things uh, which prevents blessings to come to us. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi, Arba'un, four things. Arba'un, la tadkhulu baytan wahidatan, even if only one of those four, alaykum as salam, enters a house or a home, it will be it will destroy this home four things so we should avoid four things and alhamdulillah I think inshallah all of us 
away from such things. The first thing is said, uh, also, إلا خرب and ولم يعمر بالبركة. It's such that it will never again, again be able to flourish through uh, flourish through blessings. The first one is استغفرالله ال الخيانة betrayal. We mentioned another another like day. Another uh, said, المؤمن أخو المؤمن لا يخونه The believer is a brother for the believer So he never betrays him He doesn't betray his brother, المؤمن So the betray betrayal is one of the things Prevent al-baraka from coming or enter our home So we should just like avoid, avoid it Inshallah ta'ala Most of the Shia, Mu'mineen, I think they, they, you know, avoid such like big sin. This is one of the kabar because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in the Holy Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله لا يهدي كيد الخائنين Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never guide, uh, you know, the one who betrays others, especially the mu'mineen, the believers. So the first thing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa told us about is to, you know, to avoid betrayal. And the th second thing is السرقه uh, is it الخيانه والسرقه the theft no so some we, we should just like be away of you know this because it is haram and this one also you know uh, destroy homes and you know prevent baraka to come to our homes and the third one astaghfirullah shurb al khamr Drinking wine and alcohol. You know, this is Baytul Khabath. This is one, this is a key for every or most of the sins. Kullul Khabath, the bad things. I remember, and actually, unfortunately, here in, uh, in, in these countries and uh, even in uh, many other Muslim countries, but here, because you're Muslims, they hide it. But here, it is everywhere, and it's just like something they think is normal. One day I was in. Uh, talking to a brother he used to live in California or maybe go to visit in California with his his uh, wife they don't I, I don't think they have kids they, so they travel a lot and so he said I, one day we were we were in uh, a restaurant in California and the the owner of the restaurant of course Muslim because they don't go to other restaurants they go to halal places so he said yeah we we had you know we requested like a meat meal meal you know and you know of course the many muslims who are good they ask about the, the source of the meal because the muslim they say they they say it is halal but they go to the sams and then buy it the meat or goes to maybe to casco to costco or walmart and the meat because it is cheap and it's fast to get it but you know uh, so the, the shia um, especially other you know, Sunni Muslim, they don't do that. But this this brother was Shia, so uh, his wife liked to ask. So they asked the the owner or the guy who was, who was like the, bro, the the son of the owner of the restaurant. He was Shia also, Shia, but you know probably liberal Shia. He said, yeah. So he said, <laughs> he said, yeah. we asked the guy about the meat. He said, yes, brother, it is halal, all halal. And my father is a very religious guy. So he said, <laughs> he said, we were very curious about that. So what does he mean by his father is very, you know, uh, religious? He said, what do you mean by your father extremely religious? He said, imagine during Muharram and Safar, he never drinks alcohol. <laughs> yes. Yes. So some people, you know, the alcohol for them is something like normal. That's why we should be very careful. We should stick firm, stick like to, to, to the Islamic centers. Because the mu'min, the believer, just like, you know, the lamb, if you have like a group of lambs, and one of the lambs, you know, be away from the this group. It doesn't stay together with other, you know, lambs. The, the, the wolf come and take it. Th the same here. If you doesn't if you if doesn't keep coming to Islamic center is very difficult. You should just like stick with the Islamic center. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the last verse of Surah Ali Imran, which is a very nice verse and it is 
one of the verses in which Imam Rida is salam about which he said for qada al hawaj you recite it when you go early in Thursday uh, to you know you have knee you have like something to do you have business or so so you go early in the morning in the Thursday and recite a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sabiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa attaqullaha la'allakum tuflihun then ayatul kursi then inna inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen he said fa inna fiha qada hawaaj dunya wal akhirah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala satisfy your needs in this dunya and in the hereafter so the, this is the last verse of Surah Ali Imran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Oh, you who have faith, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, asbiru, be steadfast, be patient. Wasabiru. Wasabiru means also be patient, but together. Together. Because you know, the moment just like, you know, the wall. The bricks, yashuddu ba'dahu ba'dah. When they are very close to each other, you know, they have like nice cement, they, it, it's going to be strong. But if you have like a brick here and a brick here, you know, it's going to be very weak, you know. So, sabiru wa sabiru. Sabiru, like, participate in this patience. Participate, you know. Uh, and we have like, I don't know, we have idiom or something we say in, in, in Arabic. He said, hashrun ma'an nasi eid. That shows like how important to be together, all together. Because imagine, he said, if someone, he's imagine the, the judgment day. The judgment day will be for everybody. He said, okay, if it is a judgment day, even if we are sinful, but as long as we are together, we will be happy. See, this is, this is wrong, but this is how important to be together. So imagine believers, they are together, Kelbulian and Marsus, and believers now know, maybe they don't communicate that long, they don't come to gather and to recite dua, to, to, to attend congregation prayer. That's why one, maybe one of the reasons congregation prayer, Salatul Jum'ah is very important. And sometimes Allah subhanahu wa give you unlimited reward. Because Allah wants you to gather, to remember. Allah dhikran kathira. Remember Allah so with, with the abundance of remembrance. So when you are together, you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So asbiru wa sabiru wa rabitu. Rabitu communicate. Communicate with, you, with, with each other. And should be the center should be like you know the main place to gather and communicate with each other. So sabiru wa sabiru rabitu wa taqullah laallakum tuflihun. So Allah subhanahu wa taala give you falah. Falah means success in this dunya and the hereafter. So well, the reason why I mentioned that because uh, yeah drinking alcohol and maybe taking hash, hashish taking like a drug in this. In this country, been just like kind of regular, uh, normal, because you know, for for the moment should what should not be like this. But for the moment who are away from the community, who are like who lives away and he doesn't like to, you know, come and talk and then you know, communicate with other mu'min, This is very difficult, and at, at some point maybe they they're gonna be just like other people. Uh, and the adultery, the zina. This is like very bad thing actually to have, and and it is one of the th things which prevents the barakah. The last thing I want to uh, mention, I I I, I there, there is a verse I, I told you about in, in Surah uh, we already recited in Surah Al Isra. Allah Subhanahu wa because He is very generous, He is very kind, He is all merciful. He's all gracious. He want to be. He want people to go to to Al Jannah. He doesn't want people to go to in Al Jahannam to hell. Uh, he want them to be good. So he said. He uh, what does he do? He he gives everybody the same opportunity to to gain a rizq. As we said, كُلَّ نُمِدُّهَا أُولَى وَهَا أُولَى مُؤْمِنٌ He give them sustenance. Kafir he give them sustenance. You know. So the water now, everybody drink water from the river, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't prevent them to do so. But it is from his sustenance because he sent it down from the sky, from the right? The food, everything. Maybe some disbelievers more even more rich than the other like uh, people, than mu'mins. Anyway, so one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to everybody in this life, for example, uh, like some of happiness happens when you help others. 
So, so he gives you some blessings in this dunya. You feel it when you help others. Because we said, وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you blessings to Isa alayhi salam because he was very beneficial to, to his people. He used to call people to Christianity. At that time, it is Islam also. Because in the deen and Allah is Islam. Judaism is Islam. Christianity is Islam. Ibrahim alayhi salam is Islam. All of them are Muslims, but you know, because Christianity from the Christ, Jesus Christ alayhi salam, so it's named Christianity and so on. So, because he was very beneficial to people, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him blessed. So, this is what happens in this dunya. If you help people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you, for example, with barakah, with, with happiness. If you help people. And this one doesn't matter if you are mu'min or not mu'min. That's why you see some people, they go and volunteer. They are a Christian. They go to volunteer in Africa to help people. Why? Because they feel what? Happy. One day I came, I think in January 2022. 20, yeah, I think so. I came from Ziara, you know, to D.C., from Iraq to D.C. And when I landed, I found out that like the, the 95, it is it's, it's highway, the main highway between D.C. and Richmond was blocked with the snow. I rented a car and then I came, but it was blocked com completely with, I mean, the, the cars, there's well, snow and it is closed because, you know, it, 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 it snowed heavily the day before. So I went to some hotel, but it was booked. So I slept, you know, in the car all the night. I put the heat. Anyway, so the day later, I took the back roads trying to arrive to Richmond, but unfortunately because, you know, they were even worse, it were even worse, then I stuck in the middle of the snow. And I was, you know, I, I uh, reached to a point, if I just like press on the accelerator a little bit, I'm going to go in the valley, small valley. It's very dangerous, and the car is not my car. You know, anyway, alhamdulillah. <laughs> so uh, I just like... Uh, put it on the park and then the side brake and then I, I went out I get I got out of the car so how I started to say Nadi Ali and Mother Ajaib and this is the only way you have in such situation and alhamdulillah somebody came somebody came with <laughs> his vehicle like helping other he was like he looks a, he looks uh, he looked a Christian Christian guy and he had this vehicle with no no tires it's just like the chain you know and then he, it, 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 it survived on the, on the snow. So he just like hooked my car and put it on a hill. Alhamdulillah. This is Barakat Amir Umin, Akhi Rasulullah Muhammad. So, so my, what I want to say, I gave him money, like I maybe $40 or $60. I said, this is for gas. You know what he said? He said, no, I don't take money. I said, why? Because, he said, I do that because when I do help people, I feel happy inside. See, the happiness is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give Jesus alayhi salam blessings because he was benef very beneficial to people. That's why I, I just like highly, you know, highly yeah, love what some people, some brothers here, I don't, I don't like to mention names because it's not good for their hearts. They are very much all beneficial to the community. Some of them serving food, some of them, you know, working all the time, like serving this, this center, you know, many, too many things. This is very good. This is a blessing from Allah, and this is tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do so, actually. So everybody should be like this, because this is the only thing you will take to your hereafter. In the grave, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you, do, do you have something? Do you have a gift for me you came up with? You will tell him, for example, yeah, I, I wrote this book, he, he will tell you, oh yeah, but, but this is good, but your name on the book. So you get something in the dunya. I want just a pure for me. What did you do pure for me? So we should have something with a pure intention just for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do something that people don't know maybe about. Okay? So yeah, so we should just like remember this always. We should be you know, beneficial to our community, beneficial to, to all people, even if they are not like mu'min, mean, because some people, if they say, see you are like very good, very beneficial to them, they, they maybe, they will ask about you, you know, your religion, and it happens a lot. 
I, I know one of the guys reverted to Islam and then to Shia because of one of Shia Iraqi in, I think in Kentucky or I go Allah. And I met him personally, he's a good friend for me, to me. He's American, a pure American. And I also like a month ago, and a and, and pure American whose father is, you know, uh, a preacher in a church. And his mother also Christian, his everything, siblings are Christian. He reverted to Islam, he took shahad, and he's a very nice guy. His name is Josh in Richmond, Virginia. Because of one of our community member, he's engineer, and he works with the same company, he's, he's IT. And he talked to him and then about Islam. And this guy is very good, very nice, helping him or cooperate with him. And then he liked him. He asked about his religion. Then he found out that Islam is very nice. And he, now he is just pure Shi'i. And he, you know, he come and sit under my member and he is happy. And you know, not someone like, some people like, like fake uh, Muslim. No, but he is the real one. You, you can feel how, how, how good he is. And you know, so we should just be like this. We be beneficial to, be, to, 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 to people, to our community, and especially our brothers and sisters, Muslims, and you know, Shia, specifically because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward us with, you know, big reward, inshallah ta'ala, by the blessings of the prayer and salutation upon Muhammad.